Welcome to Photo News TV. I'm your host, Will Prentice. And today I've got a special episode for you. I've got a guest coming into the studio, Phil Nielsen. Phil is the brand manager of consumable products. That's papers, inks, canvases, all of these great products you need to be able to get your photos off camera and up onto your walls. So we're going to have a little chat with Phil today. We're now going to cover Hanamul sample packs. And why would you want to buy a sample pack of paper? Very, very simple. It's a very uh, inexpensive way to try out a range of papers so you can dial in to get one that might be most suitable for the image that you're trying to print. Hanamul offers three different sample packs. There's Matte Fine Art Smooth, Matte Fine Art Textured, and Glossy Fine Art. And each of these sample packs has a variety of papers in it. The Glossy Fine Art, as an example, has six different papers and a glossy canvas. There's two sheets of each, and that gives you the perfect opportunity to try different images on the different types of paper or canvas. The nice thing is, on the back of the sheet, it's actually identified as oh. to which product you're using. It takes the guesswork out. All the guesswork is gone. So perfect. you print it, you look at it later and say, gee, I really like that one. What was that? It's identified right on the back very lightly so it won't come through. It doesn't yeah. affect your image unless you're using a double-sided paper, in which case yeah. you've got that printed on the back. What I like about the sample pack, let's again stay on the topic of the glossy paper. Each of the papers has a subtle difference between it, whether it's the base color, the texture of it, or the thickness of it. And those are really the three biggest variables. Each image would apply differently to one of those characteristics. So to give you an example, if you've got a photograph of a young girl with perfectly smooth skin, you probably wouldn't want to print that on a paper that had a lot of texture because yeah. you're then adding something to it that really shouldn't be there. The same thing would be true if you took an image and smoothed it out in Photoshop. You definitely don't want to go back and add that texture. You're defeating all of the hard work you just did. Other types of images look really, really good with a lot of texture to it. Um, I have a photograph up in the, my office that a friend of mine took, and it's this old crumbling wall in Rome, beautiful color yeah. and so forth. And that's on a textured paper. When you touch that, you're actually transformed. It's taking you right to Rome to where that wall is. You're feeling that wall. Exactly. So the texture becomes an integral part of the actual image. So we've gone from smooth to textured with two very different images. The way I like to use a sample pack is to take every sheet in the pack and print the same image on it. By doing that, I can then lay them out, look what I like about the image printed on that type of paper or what I don't like about it. Mm -hmm. And if I don't like it, what image in my archives do I have that I think would be better suited to it? And by seeing a printed image on that page, you then can make that decision a little bit easier. Your mind starts working and says, hey, wait a minute, I've got something. I know what would work nicer, more nicely on that one. Yeah. So it's kind of a fun process. And again, being identified on the back, it's a very easy process. And now you don't have to buy a box of 50 or 100 sheets. Precisely. Uh, what's the rough retail on these sample packs? Um, it varies uh, from time to time. There are sales on it, but it's around the $20 mark, uh, low 20s kind of idea. Depends on which of the products. Uh, one of them is a little bit more expensive. Uh, the gloss is just a wee bit more expensive because of the, the seven media types that are in it. Okay. Um, they're all identified as well on the front of the pack so you know what you're getting. And the retail store should have uh, sample print books on display or a swatch book on display so that in advance you can start to dial in a little bit and think about what you might want to purchase. Mm. Quite often at the shows, uh, I have customers that come up and say, great, I'll take one of each. Yeah. Um, they want to try everything in the range. And when you add them all up, we have seven there, six in this one, and another seven in that. That's 20 different media types, three canvases, 17 papers. Wow. And that's a lot of choices of paper. And it can get a little bit overwhelming. Sample packs, again, help you to dial in so you can make a choice that really suits your particular style of photography or even further dial down a particular image that you want to print on it. Yeah. So a great investment, three different choices, and at the end of the day, what you end up with 
here's the same image printed on three different papers. Uh, kind of hard to tell. This is the Hanamiel bamboo. Yep. This is Hanamiel torsion, and you can see as I move it in the light, there's a tremendous amount of texture to that one. Yep. And this is the Hanamiel fine art burrita, or burrita paper, and I'll cover in a bit more detail what the uh, the term burrita actually does mean. But here we've got the same image printed three ways, and you can make your choice based on that, and that's what sample packs will do for you. So photographers looking to do, say, gallery presentations, yes. this is a great way for them to figure out what works for them, and then they can invest in an entire pack Absolutely. so all their images look the same. Absolutely. Perfect. One last thing to talk about, all the sample packs are 8.5-11 format. Okay. Um, small and digestible, I like to refer to it. It works on everybody's printer at that point. Uh, obviously, all of the papers are available in a range of formats, 8.5-11 by and large being the smallest that's readily available across the range, but they're also available up, up to 44-inch rolls, and in some cases, 60 or 64-inch rolls. Oh, so we great. can accommodate absolutely any format of printer with any of these media types. So broad choices, absolute great quality, and the opportunity to really figure out which one works best for you. And these will work in any inkjet? So they even will. that little $100 printer you have up on your home computer? Technically, yes. Uh, although most people won't want to invest in a fine art product for that sort of a thing. What I generally recommend is that your entry level uh, photo quality yeah. printer. So usually that's going to have six or eight inks in it. <laughs> um, the key thing is something called an ICC profile, and I'll go into a bit more detail about that in a, a different episode. Essentially, yes, it'll work with pretty much anything. Wonderful. So thanks for that, Phil. That was pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to getting uh, more of my images printed. I certainly want to try out some of these papers that you were talking about, as well as the canvases. If you'd like to learn more, hit the subscribe link up here, and we've got more stuff coming, lots more to talk about with Phil. Also, don't forget to click the little like button down below. Show us a little bit of love. We'll see you next episode. Happy printing.